Come live on a mountain? Sounds fantastic! Alright, where am I going? I'm going to my left. That way. This one? Yep. Okay. Let's go in here. What the hell is happening? Oh shit, it's in lockdown! This is terrible. This gun is so bad! This gun does no damage! Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this one. This one. I got you. I got you. Now we can damage him. Damn, dude. No. No. Damn. this guy I don't remember what my L1 does Okay, we got him. Woohoo! Spitmaw blaster with narrow maw. I mean, it's better than this pistol, I feel like, but I'm almost to ricochet. Let's see if ricochet's any good. I'll keep this. That was sketchy. That was sketchy. You taking off? Gotta go, Pickle. Thanks for stopping in, Pickle. It's great to see you again. Give Poppet a little pat on the, on the head for me. Boop his snoot. Uh, anyways, I'll be back needing to give my Kubo some attention. Kubo is my ragdoll cat. Keep staring at me and meowing. Yep, I know how that feels. Uh, Kaya might do that sometimes. You guys know. She crazy. She crazy, that cat. Moon Lassoon, thank you for the raid, dude. What's going on, man? Thanks so much. I hope you're doing good, dude. Welcome, everybody. I am Kinmar, and I am currently being bad at video games. How are you guys doing? Are you playing Returnal? Oh, shit. Bad! This is bad! Yep, we're gonna die. No! Damn! Moonless last swoon. I'm sorry, I'll call you Moon. Is that okay? How's it going? I won't. Thank you for the raid, Moon. Were you playing a? Uh, were you playing some Returnal? This game is crazy. Something you were afraid of as a kid. Hmm. I'm not afraid of spiders, Vicky. Don't worry. Moon, I hope you were having a great day. Uh, let's see. What are we gonna put? Something I was afraid of as a kid. easy because it was terrifying me so much so that I would lay awake in bed crying about it 
Not even kidding. I would lay in my bed, like, sobbing. Let's see if I can find something to accurately portray this. No spiders, I promise. How you doing today, Moon? Um... I guess this is the best I could find- I could do, really. Can you see what that is? Boop! And I'm not talking particularly about the Grim Reaper itself. But more about death in general. Death, when I was a kid... What's wrong with my camera? Is it weird? Let me see if I can fix it. Fucking... Dude, the autofocus is so busted! Why? Uh, when I was a kid... I was so terrified of, like, my family dying... That I would lay in bed crying. That, like, one day my family would die. And I knew it was inevitable. Like, I knew that, like, one day... My family would die. And it terrified me. And I knew, and like, just the like, just the like realization that I was going to die one day. This is the shit I, I thought about. And it only happened at night. It only happened at night. Like, I would get just so hung up on like, I would start to think about like, how are they going to die? And, like, how long is it going to be? How, like, how long am I going to be, in, am I going to have with them? And stuff like that. It was crazy. This is not healthy. I fear death at night. I get little panics about it. Yeah, I was like that, Vicky. I don't know. It, it went away, thankfully. But, like, it was a big thing. I would cry myself to sleep thinking about losing my family. And the fact, the realization, like, coming to the realization that one day I was going to die. It was a big, it was a big thing for me. Not good. Not a good uh not a good mind state to be in is like a nine year old. <laughs> I assume as you age you get acceptance and then kinda look forward to it. <laughs> I don't know about look forward to it, but um maybe be better prepared, perhaps. I don't know if you're ever ready for it. Or, or I don't know if you're ever looking forward to it. <laughs> I find it hard. I live far away and I feel like I'm missing out on being away from my parents. Yeah. Yeah. I felt that way when we lived in Tucson tag. Um, I don't know how far away your parents live in. Where do your parents live? I forget. Or no, you're not, you're not tag anymore. You're not tag. Your parents live in Malta. Yeah. Still Leanna. <laughs> I, I got there. So you're, I wonder if your parents are, closer to you are now how far away is malta it's not that far right greater than or less than how many miles alexa how many kilometers is 3000 miles 3000 miles is about 4800 kilometers 4000 okay so i was 4800 kilometers away from my parents when my dad passed away and i felt I felt so shitty about that. <laughs> like, because we lived in Tucson. And uh, and I got the call that my that my dad had passed away. And I was just like, Whoa. I didn't know what to do. I felt super guilty. It was nuts. So being like that far away is never great. Yep. It's rough. My dad got ill after I moved to Norway, and guilt was crazy. Yeah. Where did you live before, Vicky? I can't remember. I'm 100% sure you've told me. Or, I mean, obviously, you don't have to say if that's a, if that's a sore subject. From England. Okay. So you and, you and Tag and, and Maltese. Maltese is, is from Maltese, but... How long have you been away from home, Maltese? 
just out of curiosity. Since you were 19, so a while, I don't know. You still visit pretty regularly though, right? You and you and Tag head out there pretty regularly. There's nothing here for me? Damn it. What is this? What is this nonsense? A low integrity at low integrity gains shield against the next hit. Okay, that's cool. Been with Tag for 14 years. Wow. Not at the moment because of COVID. Been two years since you visited. Wow. I'm sorry, Maltese. That's rough. That's one of the big reasons why we moved back to Indiana from uh, from Arizona. Was just family. Like we we had a kid out there in in Arizona that we didn't have when we when we went out there. And her being away from her grandparents was just it was just hard. I do miss the region a lot sometimes, Tucson. But being away from family when you have like a kid especially, it's rough. It's rough. I can't wait to have been with my boyfriend for over 14 years. That's awesome. You and Jaime are so cute. My family is quite broken, but I miss half of them constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, family is family. Pistol is such shit, dude. I hate this opening gun so bad. I mean, I get it. It's supposed to be bad. It's the very first weapon that you start with. But it's real bad. Alright. No big guys. Therapy with Kinmar? Yeah, right? I miss my family and my friends, but I made my own. I love my new friends. Yeah. <clears throat> so happy here. That's great to hear, Maltese. That's all that matters, really. Um, internal happiness is uh, sometimes very hard to achieve. Whoops. That's wrong, buddy. Gun can F right off. I hate it. All right. So we're doing pretty good, and like just like yesterday, we've had a couple really good runs, but I feel like I've made no progress. I didn't get to the boss any time. I've only seen the boss once. It's not been great. You know, tech slows down time when aiming with alt fire. I don't care about that. Don't care about that. It's free and all. Yeah, it's a hundred percent free. And I'm a terrible therapist, so uh, no suing me if shit goes sour on you. Not a hashtag, not a doctor. Yeah. 
Who hit me? Who hit me? Honestly. I want to know who hit me there. Um, I have to fabricate an item. Suffer damage when collecting items. Ugh, that's a bad one. Collect a lot of items. Malignant key. Yep. Collect the artifact. Suffer damage when using keys. This is terrible. Oh no. I picked up a key and now I suffer damage when using it. Let's see where this goes. Whoops, I didn't want to go in here. These are usually just all weapons. That are all gonna be shit because I'm... I'm low proficiency. Oh, man. Yeah, they're all trash. That one's at least a level one. Yeah. I'll get this one, I guess. It's at least a level one. There's a thing down there I missed. Do we go back? We do. Right? We gotta go back. Yeah, we gotta go back. Did I miss the thing in there? No, we got it. And through this door into the right is a chest that I missed somehow? Where? Oh, up there. I can't get it. Because I still don't have whatever it takes to get up there. Like, I've made zero progress in this game. Zero. I have enough ether. Zero progress. It's rough. Wait, what's that way? Did I go in there already? I don't remember. I did not. Look at the blast radius on this gun. So bad. Okay, good. Drop to Obelite slash 1.5x on hostiles. Leave behind a pool of acid. I don't like this one. I don't care about the Obelites lasting longer, really. Challenge room. Let's do it. Can't get our ass kicked. Easy. Game is easy. Don't let it hear you say that. I thought there was another one. I'm not crazy. You gotta be real close with this gun. Holy shit. Oh, damn it, it hit me. Fuck. That hit me too. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Damn, dude.
No! Narrow Maw. I like Narrow Maw better. Tachyonic Carbine. Hardened. Horizontal Barrage. Tracker Swarm. Oh, this this is gonna kill me. Attaching and detaching parasites repairs integrity. Man, this is bad. I'm in bad shape. I'm in bad shape. Hardened, Vicky. Vicky. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there's a chest up there. Oh, right there. I see it. Spitmall Blaster. Slug shot. Slug is good. Oh, God, I forgot. It hurts me. It hurts so good. Wow, this is bad. I'm gonna die. This is a bad run. Where am I going? This way. Alright. Why did I do the challenge room? And then I talked shit about it, too, while I was doing it. And it almost kicked my ass. Deservedly. Alright, so we need to... Wait, what? What is this? No, I don't want that. If I pick up another item, it's gonna kill me. Can I take this somewhere? I need to go... I need to... Where do I need to go? I need to go here? Yeah, I need to go here. Right? Right. That is so cool! It's the coolest effect. I'm so dead. All right. Which way do we go? We go this way. We go this way. We go this way. We go this way. <clears throat> Please health. What is this shit? Now. We definitely need this. Okay, malfunction removed. Great. Now we'll no longer die. Do I go I go back and heal at my ship, right? Where's my ship? I can't just teleport back. I can teleport to there and then get to my ship. I think I gotta heal. I think I gotta heal. Let's try it. Let's try and heal at the ship. We gotta go this way. Right? Back in the ship. This has been rough. I honestly feel like I have made no progress. This run. None. So I've been told that this will heal us. Let's find out. Look at how dirty I am getting in a clean bed. Ugh. Oh, take a shower, lady. So dirty. Oh, 
Did it heal us? <clears throat> I like how we're hardly anywhere in this level and we already need healing, though. That's not a good sign, right? It did heal us a little. That'd be shitty if it respawned the enemies. Well, it wouldn't be shitty. It would be very Dark Soulsian of, of it, wouldn't it? Okay, so we need to go... Where did we just come from? What is this? That's a crimson key? Yeah, we need to go here. I have one key. 426 obelites. And we're going this way. Right? Okay, there's health up there. Let's get that. The Obelites. Let's clear out this area, and then we'll go into the little uh, little room back there that usually has upgrades and sometimes has bad people in it. There's health over there. I don't think I can get that health, though. Nope, I cannot. Get this. Hydrate. Thank you, Papa. <clears throat> I will hydrate. I will indeed. Um... Hmm. Oh, down there. Good. More health. Nice. Yes. All right, so we have maximum health boost. Health bonus now. A crimson room. Okay. Still don't have a crimson key. Never seen one. Don't know what they do. S seems bad, though. Seems pretty bad, if I'm honest. Hmm. So we go that way? Looks like it. Okay. Oh, come on! How did that hit me, man? Dang it. Oh shit. Yes, please. Okay. 